Moon, aka Cam, in the building, you know what I'm saying. So, boom! Before we get into the video, guys, if you could up, smash that like, smash that sub, like and sub, that's a dub. I'd really, really appreciate it. Because um, 90% of you guys are not subscribed, so smash that subscribe button, you know what I'm saying. Um, Today, all right, first of all, shout out to um, Pixie Girl in the stream for recommending this video right here. Um, if you guys want to shout out to start the next video, subscribe, notifications turned on so you know when I'm streaming, you can come through and tell me what videos to react to. Also, check out kpopshop.com for sick K-pop merch. They got a lot of black pink, black pink merch, so check it out. Um, use my link in the description. But, as I said, this is, uh, The Revolution, a story of Blackpink. You know, their dancers are always in sync. Um, I'm kind of a fan, you might call me a blink. Um, I've just been to the gym, and it's really hot in here, so I kind of stink. No, Catman Seal, fool! But, um, either way, bro, shout out Asian Theory, he makes banger videos. So, um, let's just, let's just check this out together, you know what I'm saying? I don't edit none of my reactions, I don't fake none of my reactions. We watch this together, you know what I'm saying? Me and you, we watch this together. Okay, so, um, let's just check this out. They got the do 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 bonkers. I'm not gonna like this orchestrical, orchestrational, orchestrical, orchestrate, orchestrical, or you know what I'm trying to say. Cover of do 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 do, bro. I'm not gonna lie, it's kind of kind of fire. Four music show wins the most viewed YouTube video ever in the first 24 hours. Not anymore. That's whoa. Because <laughs> I because I paused on the green screen for the the light now reflecting onto me. And now I'm green. Bro, but they don't have the most viewed in 24 hours. But when you look at the list of most viewed videos in 24 hours, it's like BTS, Blackpink, 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 BTS, Blackpink, Blackpink, BTS twice. No, I think Ariana Grande is in there somewhere. I missed Ariana Grande. And then it's like twice, and then Black P, like Eminem. Um, the top 20, I think I calculated this. They, they got like 55% of the top 20 is Blackpink, um, Twice, and uh, BTS. It's insane. First K-pop group to hit 1 billion views. The most listened to female K-pop artist on Spotify. The most successful K-pop girl group concert of all time. The best charting K-pop girl group of all time. The most popular K-pop girl group of all time. And their name is... Blackpink. Black K-pop group now Blackpink. 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 Black Pink. Look at Blackpink, man. It's so inspirational. If your contact lenses give you the I'm not gonna lie, that was a twitch. smooth transition to an ad. That Switched was a very a smooth daily. transition to an ad. Asian Theory, Black my Pink God! is a name that's known all over the world. They are the hottest group in K-pop right now. But what makes Blackpink so special? There have been other groups with a girl crush concept and other groups with a hip hop concept. What did Blackpink do that started this revolution? Jenny and Lisa have bars. And they're hot. <laughs> <laughs> and their songs are very, very catchy. In 2011, a group called 21 released their hottest single ever called I Am The Best. The group was on fire to become one of the most successful girl groups of all time. By the end of their career, they had 700,000 sales, 43 music show wins, and 6 tesangs. 21's career had just begun to take off. In July of 2012, YG released a video called Future 21, and many fans interpreted this as YG getting ready to start a brand new girl group 
despite 21 being brand new themselves, and they were right. The next month, YG released a video introducing a certain girl by the name of Jenny Kim. This would be the beginning of his fresh new girl group, Pink Punk. Yes, you heard me right. Pink Punk. So after- Thank God the name changed, bro. <laughs> Thank God. I'm not gonna lie, bro. I kind of wish I was there. I kind of wish I was watching stuff when Jenny Kim was becoming released. But I would have been like six years old. <laughs> A series of teasers, reveals, and... This man used a... He used the instrumental that's copyrighted in the background, so it's muted. He, he, he had to mute this part of the video because he didn't want to get copyrighted. Rumors. It was speculated that Pink Punk would be... I'll read it for us. Blackpink originally had up to nine members. A nine-member wow. group. That's just so it. who exactly were these nine... <laughs> See, you have to read that part because he used the copyrighted instrumental. That's rough. And rumored members. A name you might be familiar with is Yuna Kim. You might recognize her from the girl group The Ark, and more recently the duo Khan. Nope. She was also on the reality show Superstar K3, Unpretty Rap Stars 3, and The Unit. Next is Park Jinny, who finished 69th in Produce 48 and is now in the group Secret Number. Then we have soloists Jang Hana and Kim Unbi. And lastly, Cho Myun. Yes, that Myun. Main vocalist of G Idol and Ari of KDA. Slowly, one by one, these five members were removed from the group until May of 2000. I'm viewing G Idol, you soloist. I mean, you chilling. So, it like, uh, she probably did the best at because she and G Idol, but. Wait, 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 let me, I don't feel like you'd be that salty if you got put in G Idol, but I feel like for these four girls, you might be a little salty if you <laughs> didn't make Blackpink. 16, four years after Pink Punk was introduced, we were left with these four names Jenny Kim, main rapper, the face of the group, and the first revealed official member. Wow. Next, we had Lalisa Manoban from Thailand. Lisa debuted as the main dancer and lead rapper of the group and was the first non Korean idol ever of YG Entertainment. The next revealed member was Kim Jisoo, the visual and oldest member of the group. Is Lisa half Korean? Because she looks like it. I don't know. Debuting at 21 years old. And the last member of the group to be revealed was Pak Taehyung from Australia, more commonly known as Rose, Jose. the main vocalist. On June 28, 2016, YG finally revealed the name of the four member group Black Pink. And in just less they changed one letter for- wait no, wait no, it was pink punk, never mind. I thought if it was black punk, thank god they changed the name. In two months, Blackpink rocked the world with their duo singles Boom Ba Ya and Whistle. It was new, it was fresh, like but also confident, uh, uh. cocky, and powerful. Thus finally bringing Blackpink to your area. <laughs> Both Boom Ba Ya and Whistle topped the charts. 14 days after debuting, they won their first music show award. The fastest a girl group had ever won a music show award That's after tough. debuting. Just <laughs> Boom Ba Ya and Whistle like a whistle are both bangers. Three though. months later, they released Playing With Fire and Stay. And later in the year, they won five oh, no, no, no. Rookie of the Year awards. Blackpink. 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 In just six short months, Blackpink had already become a legendary group. Fast forward to June of 2018, with just only five songs, Blackpink was already the second biggest girl group in K-pop. Then, Mine's they wise. dropped a song by the name of Doo 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 Doo. Little did they know, and little did the world know, that this song would be the catalyst that propelled Blackpink into international stardom. It was an instant sensation and became the most viewed video in 24 hours in YouTube history, and eventually it became the most viewed K-pop group video of all time with 1.2 billion views. The song it's 1 now, right? was addictive and the choreography was viral. It debuted at number 55 on the bill. Do 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 will hit 2 billion. That how crazy. Um, I guarantee you it will hit 2 billion. Billboard 100, which at the time was the highest charting K-pop song ever by a girl group. In fact, they were the first K-pop girl group to make the chart since Wonder Girls in 2009. Their first mini album, Square Up, wait, sold wait, to K-pop girl group. Blackpink makes history on Billboard's charts. Highest charting song ever by K-pop girl group. Okay, do 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 number 55. The only other all-female twice never hit Billboard to make the chart since Wonder Girls in 2000. Well, they have now. Fancy hit built we had to because that's the top 20 as well. Most viewed video at 109. Their first mini album, Square Up, sold. I thought twice was older than Blackpink. Am I bugging? 320,000 units on. 
I don't know much about Twice other than they're incredibly famous in Korea. Town, <laughs> and at the time became the eighth best-selling Korean album of all time for a girl group. Their presence eventually caught the eye of a certain British singer by the name of Dua Lipa. This would eventually spark a collab called Kiss and Make Up, which would once again chart on the Billboard 100. In October of 2018, Blackpink signed with Interscope Records, which is under a little company by the name of Universal Music Group, the biggest music company in the world. And it seemed like Blackpink was everywhere. They made appearances well, on the talk show The Company in the which is under a little company by in October of 2018, Blackpink signed with Interscope Records, which is under a little company by the name of Universal Music Group, the biggest music company in the world. Right now I'm so confused. Is why does YG not do the same thing? World. And it seemed like Blackpink was everywhere. They made appearances on the talk shows The Late Night Show with Stephen Colbert and Good Morning America. Then in March of 2019, they became the first K-pop girl group to ever grace the cover of Billboard magazine. Hey! Later that year, they embarked on their In Your Area World Tour, which would eventually become the most successful world tour by a girl group of all time, grossing $37 million. Their single Kill This Love dropped on April 5th, 2019, Kill once again breaking the record yeah, for the highest bang. charting K-pop girl group song, charting at 41. Their album Kill This Love would garner 380,000 sales in Gaon, becoming the seventh best-selling girl group album of all time. On April 12th, Blackpink went on to become the first K-pop girl group to ever perform at the Super Music Festival, Coachella. On April 22nd of 2020, Blackpink collaborated with Lady Gaga to release the single Sour Candy. This would once again break the record for the highest charting K-pop girl group. Didn't something happen to Sour Candy? Didn't it get like taken down or something? Song charting at number 33. On June 26th, Blackpink released their long-awaited single. How you like that? You and would like, go on to like, break. How you like that love is a bang. Five Guinness World Records, including the most viewed <laughs> YouTube video <laughs> ever, in 24 hours with 86.3 million views. Just eight hours later, the video went on to become the fastest video of all time to hit 100 million views. Six days later, it broke 200 million views, the fastest video of all time to reach it. Which leads us to today, August 28th, Blackpink's newest single with none other. Than Selena Gomez. Everything that Blackpink touches turns to gold, and there is no doubt that this next single will continue to elevate Blackpink. I screamed into those words, bro. You hear Blackpink and Selena, Selena Gomez. Bro, I'm, I thought it would do better, but. Turns to gold, and there is no doubt that this next single will continue to elevate Blackpink to the zenith of K pop history. A newcomer or even a veteran to K-pop will know after the first seconds of watching or listening to Blackpink, immediately they'll get hit with that doo 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 doo. <laughs> this group is different. There's a certain power and energy that emanates they built different. from Blackpink's music and image. To reiterate the earlier question, other girl groups have done the girl crush concept like 21 or 4 Minute. There have been other groups with the hip hop concept. Remember Evil? Remember Glam? Those groups have not even come close to what Blackpink has achieved in four short years. What is their secret? How do they make the masses whistle like a missile? Honestly, you want to know Blackpink's ultimate advantage? Four members. The less people, the easier they are to remember. Okay, four is a nice mix, you know what I'm saying? You got the two vocalists, you got the two rappers, and one you got like one overall just just go goaded superstar, okay? Okay. The combination and then it's just four people, bro. You so you get like the nice the nice aspects of being able to do the harmonies and all this kind of stuff that you get from being in a group. But people don't have to remember 30 people like NCT. We come, come, In night also Blackpink has 4K cameras. You know what I'm saying? You got beauty, you know what I'm saying? You don't need the 4K to show it off. 1998, <laughs> K-pop was still in its early infancy. This new exciting generation of music gave birth to some groups like SES with their vibrant love songs, Finkel with their cute, energetic, sporty concepts, and last was a group by the name of Baby Vox. They combined elements of Western hip hop with the brand new energetic K-pop, the original Girl Crush. Together, these three groups dominated the radio waves. Sound familiar? How about now? 
Oh wait, <clears throat> there we go. After the first generation of K-pop came and went, another hip-hop group was breaking records left and right. If 2020 has taught us anything, is that disease really doesn't that discriminate. That's a, that's a and fast. some things are beyond... 21. Expanding on the empire that Baby Vox built, they added another layer of badassery and rebellious nature to their songs. 21 was changing the K-pop industry. And finally, in 2016, enter player 3, Blackpink, who was almost a carbon copy of 21. Okay, if let's be brutally honest though, okay, let's be brutally honest. Enter player 1 was- Look at these girls. It's changing the K-pop industry. As I said, I'm being brutally honest, you know what I'm saying? No disrespect to them. Three. And well, look at them. Finally, in 2016, enter play. Then look at Blackpink. <laughs> you don't even have to listen to the music to Three. know. Black Blackpink, Pink, who was almost crazy. a carbon copy of 21. In fact, YG himself stated that Blackpink was meant to be a copy-paste of 21. He did not want Blackpink to be any different at all, saying, I tried to make the YG version of a girl group like I did with 21, but this time I wanted the girls to look pretty too. Just like how... See what I mean, bro, even YG admits it. 21 built their foundation on Baby Vox's concept. Blackpink was once again evolving the concept of 21. So what exactly- Hey bro, you only need to go as far as TikTok to understand how far looks will get you, you know what I'm saying? Bro, me, 3K subs. I'm trying so hard. Man's TikTok e-boys, bro. They just- 20 million followers. Exactly is the Blackpink concept. Blackpink is the energetic hook and the exotic beats hitting your eardrums, the thumping bass and the blaring air horns, the combination of swag, hip hop, badassery, and fire, a little bit of sexiness, a touch of glamour, and a hint of female empowerment, the mix of dark black ferocity, and a dash of bright pink pop sound. Jenny's power, Jisoo's saccharine sound, Rose's alluring vocals, and Lisa's lethal raps. This is the Blackpink sound. Blackpink is not the first girl group to do a girl crush concept, and they certainly won't be the last, but they are the greatest of all time to do it. Now, as much as we praise the girls of Blackpink, Blackpink is so much more than just the girls themselves. It's not just me with a bad green screen, okay? You can see, you can see him messing up with the girls. <laughs> There's a team of executives, of administrators, a team that makes music, a team that makes wardrobe, a team that choreographs, and of course, a team that makes big marketing decisions. Now, any great company or organization needs to have a solid marketing team and great brand image. But what exactly does brand image mean? Simply put, it's the customer's perception of a brand. What does a customer think when they see your brand? A perfect example is Apple. You see Apple and you already know what they're about. They're sleek, they're futuristic, they're high tech, they're clean. You see Nike, you think sports, speed, strength, inspiration. Now that is brand image. Out of all the groups in K-pop, Blackpink has the strongest brand image. There's a saying in marketing, if you confuse, you lose. Meaning if the consumer doesn't know what your product or service is about, you'll lose them. NCT. NCT for Renaissance. The whole album makes no sense. But one look at Blackpink, you don't even have to listen to their music, and you know what this group is about. You understand their image, their concept, their... I don't know, there's a lot of clips of especially Jenny, Lisa, and Rosé. You watch their clips, and then you listen to their music, and you be like... Yeah, no, this don't make sense. Music. <laughs> you, the consumer, already know all this way before Lisa even whispers Blackpink in your area. They're fierce, powerful, glamorous, they're hip-hop, they're girl crush. YG has carefully crafted Blackpink's image from the sound of their music to the color of their hair. We already discussed their music concept, but there's also the costume, the facial gestures, the makeup, the merch, the light stick, the teasers, the set, and props. Even who they interact with and the events they attend are all part of their brand image. As a result, so Blackpink only money. attends VIP <laughs> prominent events, and they rarely attend events with other idols like music shows or even the ISACs. YG has been infamous for this in the past, wanting his groups to appear exclusive, or as some haters would say, YG wants Blackpink to appear as they're better than the other groups. And there may be some truth to that. Blackpink wasn't meant to be like the other groups. Right from the start, when he built this group, YG was aiming for something bigger than just Korea. 
He wanted to dominate the whole entire world. Blackpink was built. Okay, you know what I'm saying? They're throwing up a lot of people I know, bro. David Beckham, okay. They got Ariana Grande. That's something to go with. I don't know, but she looks ridiculously familiar. Like the other groups, right from the start, Will when Smith. he built this. I don't know who that dude this group. is. YG was aiming I feel like I recognize for something that dude. bigger than just Korea. He wanted to dominate the whole... that is. They made a song with this girl. I, I still... Who is she? Like, what... I, I need to look her up, see if there's a song I recognize from her or something. But I never heard her name before. You know what I'm saying? But they made a whole song with her. I don't understand. The entire <laughs> world. Blackpink was built with that specific purpose in mind. Built specifically as a group that would target the Western audience and preferences. Precisely why this group was picked with three fluent English speakers, two Japanese speakers with the other two learning. Jenny can speak Japanese and two speakers with basic Mandarin. This is to target the two biggest markets in the world and the most populated country in the world. The group is one of the most skilled multilingual speaking groups in the industry. Lisa, at this point, is a walking Google Translate app. <laughs> See what I'm saying? You watch that, bro. How does that fit with the bread? How the heck does that fit with the the hit you with the do 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 do? Choose one of two limited edition bangles as your free gift when you. See, man, you 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 chucked in a juxtaposition that doesn't reinforce your point right there. You know what I'm saying? You saying they hella badass, all this stuff, bro, and then you see Lisa. Woo! All of a sudden, she a baby. Nothing wrong with that. Though. This next big He as if it's our last This next big marketing move will be referred to as the as if it's your last strategy. When Blackpink debuted in 2016, they had two singles, then just three short months later they came back with the singles playing with fire and stay. And fans were excited because it seemed like the group was consistently coming out with new music. <laughs> then seven months later, in June of 2017, as if consistently put out music. Nice, Blackpink, yeah. Yeah. If it's your last, hit the deck like pom pom pom. It was an exciting single with bright aesthetics and a hot beat. But that's all it was, a single, no album, no b-sides. The name As If It's Your Last was truly a fitting name for Blackpink because it felt like, well, it was their last single. And for the next year, the airwaves were silent. The fans were furious, annoyed, dejected, but most importantly, they were hungry. A lot of you guys are asking for our comeback. It's hard to ignore because it hurts my feelings just to read them and just ignore. I'm not ignoring guys, it's just that we are not too sure, so I'm sorry. Don't give up guys, let's not give up, both of us. <laughs> The fans YG thirsted for X any X piece X of Blackpink content they could find their hands on. Rumors, mashups, fan art, YouTube theories, the reality TV show Blackpink House. Finally, in June 2018, the famine was over. Blackpink had four new songs, effectively almost doubling Blackpink's entire discography from five to nine songs. And immediately, Blackpink knocked that and got another banger. As mentioned earlier, Doo 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 became the most viewed video in 24 hours in YouTube history. Wait, is it Doo 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 or is it Doo 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 Doo? I thought it was four. I thought it's the Doo 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 Four, right? Doo 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 Doo. I wonder what it's actually. And eventually called. became the most viewed K-pop group video exactly. of all time with 1.2 billion views. So it seemed like YG's strategy had worked. Here I have outlined a 100% foolproof YG plan. Step one, starve the fans for a year. Step two, <laughs> tease them a little. Give them a little bit of this, a little bit of that. Step three, release. Drop the single that's too hot to handle. And the last step is dominate the charts. Kill them and stack up my millions. Paul with this strategy, right? This only works very, very select few, if you know what I'm saying? Bro, if, if, I don't even think Drake could have pulled that off in his early days. You know what I'm saying? Eminem. 
Maybe, maybe can't. Yeah, because they were both went crazy from day one. Actually, no, Eminem didn't really go crazy from day one. Bro, but then, do you know how difficult this would be to pull off from go from five songs and be that confident in your fan base? <laughs> That's crazy. Now, this is a risky strategy, but in economics. Very risky. Very, very risky. This is called the scarcity principle. If there is very little of a product, in other Supply words, if a product demand, or service baby. is scarce, more people will deem it to be of high quality, driving up demand. How many times have you seen advertisements that say limited time offer or while supply shifting the curve to meet that equilibrium price? Last, scarcity creates demand. People want what they can't have. K pop fans hate it, but it really is a genius move. Other K pop groups wouldn't be able to pull it off. K pop groups depend on constant promotions and comebacks to create brand awareness. But Blackpink's brand awareness stats are already maxed out at level 99. <laughs> there isn't a K-pop fan alive who doesn't know who Blackpink is, so they are able to use this method to build demand. Additionally, YG built Blackpink with the intention of expanding globally, specifically westward. I know for K-pop fans, a year break is a long time, but for western standards, a year would actually be considered a very fast comeback. Ed Sheeran usually has a 2-3 year break in between his albums. Pharrell hasn't released an album since 2014. Queen is still active and performing and going on tours, but they haven't released new music for 24 years. So with that perspective in mind, is one year really that long? I'm Greg Morgan, Learn the Trades Global <laughs> Trader of the Year. Really? I wanted that to share relevant? with you a okay, remarkable... Okay, I get the edge here in point. Awesome screen, awesome camera, long-lasting battery life. Bro, these title screens look sick. They're hard to read, but... What the heck does that word say? Is it a H? What letter is it? <laughs> this? Oh... <laughs> Music, choreography, a great marketing team, those are all great things to have. But what really draws people to Blackpink are the heroines of Blackpink themselves. Park Chaeyoung, Lalisa Manoban, Kim Jisoo, and Jenny Kim. Whether it be their- Yo, I love the- <laughs> The, the Blackpink fandom is one of the, the greatest fandoms of all time, bro. Because everyone is so toxic, you know what I'm saying? Everyone is so toxic, and I love it. Because I can't tell if some people are trolling. Like, especially the Jenny haters, you know what I'm saying? Because I feel like, I feel like it's hard to hate on Jenny because she's just such, like, a nice... She seems such a humble person, you know what I'm saying? She's so good at everything. But people just love to hate on her, and I can never tell if they're trolling because everyone gets a reaction, Okay. It's hilarious, okay? At first, right, when people... And because of that, people are so in defense of Jenny. This is, like, especially Jenny, okay? Like, she's just the most controversial person for absolutely no reason. Like, she she, she has, the, like, nothing to be controversial, except for, like, a little injury or whatever where she didn't really say she was injured, and then people were just saying she was lacking on the efforts of dance. But <laughs> she's purely controversial because of the fans. It's hilarious. But um, I oh, know I lost my train of thought. Yeah, bro. People, <laughs> the people just love to say bad things about Jay because they know they don't get a response. First, right? I said I'm gonna have to start trolling. I don't know anything. When I first started reacting to Blackpink, I watched a, a Lisa documentary or whatever, or well, some video like Lisa or whatever, and I was like. And it was short, and it was the insane popularity of Jenny Kim in Korea, right? And Lisa was like abysmal on everything, right? So I thought Lisa was the least popular. Okay, obviously now I know she's the most popular. Everyone drilled that into me so hard, you know what I'm saying? But I was like, yo, I'm at the start of Charlie. Jenny's too popular, you know what I'm saying? She, every, everyone loves this girl, okay, bro? Like, she's the most popular by far. Lisa, she'd be lacking on the popularity. I'm gonna have to start trolling. This would be funny. Because Lisa got bars. <laughs> bro, I feel like I almost have to go the opposite way. Now I feel like I might have to start trolling for Jenny. But we're not gonna do that because Lisa has too much bars. Charm. But it's very funny. I love the Blackpink community. Their personality, their story, or their amazing talent. There is something about each of them that makes a fan want to follow them, devote their life, or possibly even worship them. Alright, if you're watching out here and you devote your life or worship anyone, doesn't matter who it is, bro, stop.
stuff focus on yourself you know what i'm saying but focus on yourself because when it's all said and done you know what i'm saying 50 60 years hopefully 100 years hopefully you know what i'm saying you become immortal but that's probably not gonna happen bro you know i don't want to look back and be like god damn i should have not devoted my life to, to, to some people I'd never met in my day in my life. Lisa was born in 1997 with the name Pranpriya Manoban in Thailand. Early in her childhood, she met with a fortune teller who said she should change her name to Lalisa, as this name would bring her immense luck. And that what does Lalisa actually mean? Translation, life. the one who is praised. Fast forward a decade later and the name could not be more true. She is the most popular global idol in the world by a huge margin. On Instagram, she has 38 million followers, making her the 90th. 42 now. Bro, I wish BTS had social media. I'm not gonna lie, I wanna see how they would run up the numbers like crazy. They would actually run up the numbers like crazy. Most followed account in the world. Of the top 100 accounts, she had the most engagement. Like, I just wanna know how many followers and how much engagement they would get with 21% of her audience engaging with Lisa. For a comparison, the top five accounts, the official Instagram account, Cristiano Ronaldo. What the heck? Three of... Ronaldo has 234 million? Wait, what? I, I, last time I checked, I thought it was like Selena Gomez and Kim Kardashian were like 100 million. I didn't know Ariana Grande had 196 million. I didn't know Ronaldo had 234. Ariana Grande, The Rock, and Kylie Jenner have an engagement of one. Oh, no, 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 not, uh, not, 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 uh, who's the Kyle? No, who's, I meant Kylie Jenner, not Kim Kardashian. The Wait, Rock. five, five percent. In 2019, she was the most searched and trending idol, according to Google. Her star power was such hey, that Jenny even her two. legs alone went viral all over the world. With if she Lisa, I'm a wife of long legs. We desired she delivered memes acquired. You know what I'm saying? Check out my black paint. People rap. like Stephen Colbert, James Corden, Lil Nas, and thousands of others parodying the <laughs> meme. People love Lisa. I remember that meme. I didn't know who Lisa was at that time. I never heard. I was so confused what the meme was. I was like, okay, it's kind of funny, but I didn't get it. I didn't. I didn't know what it was from. People want to be Lisa. People praise Lisa. <laughs> I see that video. What is it about Lisa that draws people to her? Look at you, now look at her. Well, first and foremost, <laughs> she is the pinnacle of dancing prowess in the industry. She was able to beat out thousands of other hopefuls in Thailand at the 2010 YG auditions because she was the best dancer and best performer by miles and miles. She is. She can be very, very sexy and very, very cute. She has perfect control of her body. She can take a move that would look awkward on anybody and make it look amazing. You watch her and all you want to do is dance. When she dances, you can see that she has flame in her veins. No, no, I feel the opposite way, you know what I'm saying? She looks way too co coordinated for me, you know what I'm saying? When I see her, I'm like, yo, I'm just not gonna move my body at all whatsoever because I don't wanna look uncoordinated. <laughs> her dance is like crack. Every day she's styling, killing everything in her way she's wild in. Not only that, Lisa just has such a lovable personality. She's funny, she's cute, she's cheerful. She's just a ball of sunshine and optimism. You can be sure that she'll be kicking down the door to everyone's heart in your area. Rosie was born in 1997 in Auckland, New Zealand as Pak Cheyang. She later moved to Melbourne, Australia when she was seven and spent most of her life there. Originally, Rosie did not believe that becoming a K-pop idol was in the cards for her, but her father encouraged her to follow her dreams. Did you audition for YG in Australia? Yes, like literally like just an open audition. W why'd you do it? Because my dad told me to. <laughs> Rose stated in a- her, Well, because she had to fly from Melbourne to Sydney, right? Her dad wanted her to do that? I was like, yo, what kind of pa retarded ass parents would you need to allow you to do that? But her dad wanted- Australia, I didn't think that there was much of a chance for me to become a singer, especially to become a K-pop star. I was living so far from the country that it never really occurred to me as a possibility. And from day one, Rose was noted for her amazing golden vocals. In the 2012 auditions at Sydney, she beat out 700 other hopefuls, placing first. Because of her unique voice as a 16-year-old, she was placed on a track 
called Without You, with the biggest name in K-pop at the time, G-Dragon. Since then, of course, she's debuted with Wait, what? Black in K-pop. Year old, she was placed on a track called Without You. She's on a track with G-Dragon. With the biggest. I'm not gonna lie, I've only seen one G-Dragon song. I wasn't really vibing with it, but apparently he's ultra famous. Name in K-pop at the time, G-Dragon. Since then, of course, she's debuted with Blackpink, captivating not only with her prominent singing, but with her sweet charm, kind heart, and innocent wholesomeness. All the times that you I'm gonna say Asian Theory's editing is absolutely goaded, bro. Like all like the transitions, everything he just does so well. And then there's Kim Jisoo. All it takes is one glance, and immediately you're Jisoo. hit with her immaculate visuals, and you're not alone. That's what the talent scouts at YG notice about Jisoo, recognized as being one of the greatest visuals in K-pop today. She's a model for Kiss Me, Cartier, Burberry, and of course, one of Dior's muses. You wouldn't have guessed Dior, Dior, up in all the stores, Hey. Wait, 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 actually, I'm, before I say something, I'm gonna say- Cartier, Burberry, and of course, one of Dior's muses. You wouldn't have guessed it by a first glance, but Jisoo is actually the comic relief of the group. In terms of variety skills and humor, Jisoo is easily the best in the group. She's wacky, funny, and a Okay, this makes absolutely no sense. Uh, does it? Okay, there was like the, the things that going around on Twitter, right? I'm not sure, I think it's Cosmopolitan or someone. They do the top 100 most attractive uh, K-pop idols or whatever. Isn't Jisoo last in, out of Blackpink or is it Rosé? I know, I know Lisa's number one, Jenny's number two. Personally, I'll switch them two around. But I don't understand, bro. <laughs> like, like e every every list puts puts Jenny and Lisa above Jisoo. Some li 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 lists switch Rosé and Jisoo. But it doesn't make sense, okay? I know, I know Visual's more about being an actor and like, like promoting like that kind of stuff, but centric in Korea. Also, that comedy thing, bro, is Jisoo is the most chill out of all of them, okay? The comic release is definitely not Jisoo. She's what's referred to as having a 40 personality. She's a complete goofball, which is what most fans love about her. Whether it's just being a complete jokester, prankster, or balancing bottles, what's certain is that she won't be leaving fans bored. My heart so bounce, okay? And lastly, of course, is Jenny Kim. Many people are calling her the queen of K-pop. Despite debuting just four years ago, ever since she was revealed as a trainee back in 2012, she has been making waves. It seemed like even as a trainee, Jenny was destined for greatness, making her first MV appearance in 2012 as a 16-year-old in G-Dragon's XX, and then even joining him on stage later for Black Black. She was easily the most popular female idol and joining him on stage. Hang on a second, G-Dragon, if she's 16 here, what is you doing, my guy? G-Dragon, you are old man. I'm pretty sure, I think. Apparently you're a legend, so I'm guessing you're old. Bro, what are you doing? That's a little... Later, for Black Black. She was easily the most popular female idol in Korea of 2019, topping the brand rankings. She earned first place 6 out of the 12 months. Recently, her solo song, fittingly named Solo, was a monster hit, becoming the most viewed music video by a female artist with 500 million views. Many people who know her personally describe her as being charming and sweet. On screen, she appears to be this fierce, powerful, bulletproof diva, but in real life, she's actually a sweet softie. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, we see that video in the house.
One glance at her, and you already know why she is who she is. She just exudes charisma and is the poster Fast. child of badass, of girl crush, of ferocity. She is the princess of YG, the human Chanel, the it girl of Korea. The person everyone loves to hate. Some look at her with anger, while others look at her with admiration. Some people hate. Bro, I feel like everyone hate OJ just because, bro, like, they hate nothing. There's actually nothing you can actually hate. So like you just have to make up reasons to hate, you know what I'm saying? Like when someone is so unhateable that they just become hateable. It's like LeBron James, you know what I'm saying? Man's literally perfect, okay? He, he is literally the definition of perfection. So that's why everyone hates him. Loves to hate. Some look at her with envy, while others look at her with admiration. Some people hate her. Many people love her. But everybody knows her. Hey. And together, they become the most powerful and the most hyped girl group in K-pop history. The world is theirs for the taking. Everywhere they show up, blows up. <laughs> Currently, YG ball, is sitting ball, on the biggest ay. gold mine in K-pop history. Their potential is limitless. So YG is just needs to play his cards right. And currently, he has a Looks royal like flush. Right? Yeah. But he actually needs to play them and let the girls of Blackpink shine. Blackpink recently hit their four year anniversary a couple days ago, and to date, they've only had 17 songs. And I know that's frustrating for a lot of blinks. Honestly, dude, kinda, it kinda makes sense. I'm not gonna lie. It is, they do draw bangers, but the exclusivity kinda, I'm not gonna lie, it does fit their branding way too well. Like, if they just started dropping mad songs, like, it wouldn't go as crazy, you know what I'm saying? So I, I don't know, like, I feel like they should honestly keep to the same model. Especially after watching this video. With waiting. I know you gotta be tired. And when the night gets dark, let them be your fire. Is your credit so the same That's another banger video, okay, by the Asian Theory. Look at Mr. Beast, man, here to give you some money. Um, yeah, that was a fire video, okay. Um, bro, as I said, Asian Theory is editing everything, his story points, he's jumbling, like everything about Asian Theory's videos are just bangers, okay. Um, so this was the revolution of Blackpink. As I said, this was a fire video. So if you guys enjoyed it, please smash that like subscribe button. Um, yeah, let me know what I said that was wrong, okay? <laughs> Probably, I feel like a lot of people are hate on me. Um, the whole, whole, uh, uh, why Jenny is hated or whatever. I don't know why, but, um, yeah, either way. Check out, also check out my video on my channel. Um, especially if you watched all the way to the end, bro. Shout out to, comment down below, end game. Comment down below, end game, if you watched all the way to the end. But also check out on my channel. Um, how attractive is Blackpink? Omega Raids Blackpink. Check out those videos. And um, yeah, I'm out. See ya. Oh, and the Fame Not Cloud Blackpink rap. Can we get this to 1K views, please? Thank you. X. See ya. <laughs>